Before the NFL draft, many people were saying that wide receiver DK Metcalf was a top 10 pick. I disagreed with that. I said DK Metcalf will not be a top 10 pick. On March 6th, I said this. I look at DK Metcalf and I go, nah, he's okay. He's, he's not bad. He's not awful, but he's not, he's not the guy I would draft as the first receiver drafted in a normal NFL draft. He's not Julio Jones. He's not DeAndre Hopkins. We're falling in love with a guy who's, frankly, nah, he's fine. Not amazing. DK Metcalf gets away with really lazy and bad technique because he's so big, because he's six foot three, he's jacked, he can push people around, and it's not going to work in the NFL. His technique isn't up to snuff because he's gotten away with bad habits for years. He's a really good vertical threat. You want a guy running deep down the field, running a streak? That's what you want him for. He's also an average route runner. He's not crisp. He doesn't run in great, amazing routes like you need to see in the NFL. So number one, I said he would not be a top pick. I was right. He was drafted 64th overall in the second round. In fact, he was the last pick of the second round of the NFL draft by the Seattle Seahawks. Now, in that clip you watched, I also said something that was very, very wrong. I said, it's not going to work in the NFL. And, uh, well, when he was drafted by the Seattle Seahawks, I evolved my opinion. On July 23rd, I said this. With the Seahawks, DK Metcalf went to a perfect, perfect team for him. I cannot think of a better role for DK Metcalf than being the Seattle Seahawks deep threat. I really can't. They love to take shots downfield. That's what he's best at. Um, now, I admit, I don't like DK's ability running routes. He has poor lateral movement. He's not a good technical route runner. He's really raw. But undoubtedly, his best trait is running in a straight line. He's good at getting open, running in a straight line. But I see him having some really nice catches down the road for the Seattle Seahawks this season. Um, I believe he went to a perfect spot. And I think the Seattle Seahawks are a great fit for DK Metcalf. So I think I was right twice. I said he wouldn't be a top 10 pick, and he wasn't. Now, I was a bit surprised when eight receivers were drafted ahead of him. I didn't think that would happen. But I also then said he would do well with the Seattle Seahawks. But why? Why is he doing so well? That's the fun part to me. What's the film say about DK Metcalf? A big part of why DK Metcalf has been so successful is that the Seahawks aren't asking for a lot from him. DK Metcalf has 35 catches this year, and eight of those catches are slants. Ten of them are go routes. So 51% of his catches, 18 of 35, are slants or go routes and fades. The Seahawks are mostly asking DK Metcalf to do two things. They isolate him on one side, they get him in one-on-one -on -one coverage, and then they have him run either a go route and run right by guys or a slant and use his big frame to make catches. Now week four, the Seahawks began throwing screens to DK. They realized, oh, hey, it's really hard to tackle this guy. And they just started flipping the ball out to him wide and having him break tackles. Now, unfortunately, twice DK Metcalf has fumbled on plays designed like this. One time against the Ravens, he fumbled and they ran it back for a touchdown. Now, I don't really want to be too hard on this. Uh, it just stinks. It's kind of unfortunate. Fumbles happen, especially the way this one happened. But he also fumbled on the goal line in that really big Monday night football game against the 49ers. That one was not as forgivable. It just, he fumbled. He got beat. The ball got taken out of his hands. And that's unfortunate. Now, the Seahawks aren't asking very much of him. He's caught two different out routes. Uh, he's caught three hitch routes, which is where you run, you stop, you turn around. And the Seahawks occasionally use him to run across the middle of the field on play-action passes. He has four catches on those type of plays. The most technical route they've had him run all year, one time, they had him run a front-side comeback route. You run vertical, then you come back downhill to the sideline. The Seahawks have been really, really smart with the way they've used DK Metcalf. They're only asking him to do what he's good at, mostly he just runs right by guys and gets open downfield. Now, the reality is he has average hands. He's not the best catcher of the football. He's a number of drops, and he struggles to catch jump balls. He hasn't become the juggernaut or the, the dominant jump ball guy I think they've wanted him to be. They've tried. They've thrown a lot of jump balls to him, and he hasn't made it happen. Now, the biggest flaw in his game 
is that his route running ability and his technical skills are not that great. Nothing makes it more apparent than watching his clunky back shoulder fade routes. Over and over and over again, the Seahawks have tried to throw back shoulder fade balls to DK Metcalf, and he really struggles to adjust to the ball. They've thrown back shoulder fades to him countless times, and he's only caught three of them. Usually his issue is that he turns too early. Ideally, you want to let the ball turn you. As it comes to you, you turn at the last second and catch the ball. When DK Metcalf turns too early, it tells the defender guarding him that the ball is on the way. DK Metcalf tips his hand, and then defender simply knocks the ball away. So all in all, I love what the Seattle Seahawks are doing with DK Metcalf. They have catered their offense to work to his advantage. They use his strengths and let him use them and use them and use them and abuse defenders by doing what he's good at. They use play action, they throw the ball deep to him. They're not asking him to do too many different things. They're asking him to do what he's good at. And so far this year, the guy has 35 catches. He has 595 yards. He has five touchdowns. And a large part of that success is because of the vision by the Seattle Seahawks. They saw how they could use him and they've put him in a position to succeed. So guys, you know, the point wasn't whether or not I was right or wrong about DK Metcalf. The point is that the Seattle Seahawks offense is so well designed. They know exactly what they're doing. They're using DK Metcalf to the best of his ability. And that deserves a lot of respect and a lot of credit. It makes me excited and fired up. Like, man, they did a great job. They saw a guy and said, we can use his talent. We know exactly how to do it. And that's exactly what they've done. And uh, I had such a blast watching DK Metcalf's film and seeing what the film says about DK Metcalf. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And I want to be very clear, open, and transparent. My YouTube channel is monetized. What that means is that some of my videos make money through ad revenue. Now, it's fewer than you think. A lot of my videos get claimed. But in the past, I've received donations from Patreon and PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. Patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. And so because I'm making ad revenue, it feels weird to just get donations. I wanted to give something back. I want to give people a reward for supporting me on Patreon. So now you can submit questions. If you give me a dollar a month, you can submit questions to a pool of questions on Patreon. I look at all the questions on Patreon. I use my eyeballs. I make a joke about it. Uh, and I pick the top couple questions at the end of every single episode. And I read them and answer them on a segment called Ask Zach. Now that's for people who have money. They want to support me. If you have no money to give, I totally understand. I've been a broke college kid myself. Um, but if you believe in me and if you believe in my dream and you still want to help me, please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, maybe a screenshot of it, you put it on your Instagram story. Help me grow by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so very much and have a great day.